In 1941, the British government were hatching escape plans for British soldiers caught abroad. They knew the most helpful aid would be a paper map, but these were noisy, wore out rapidly, and turned to mush if they got wet. Not helpful to escapees. Instead, they came up with the idea to print on silk, a durable and silent fabric, and enlisted British board game producer John Waddington for help. As it happened, Waddington's were the UK licensee for the American board game Monopoly, a game that was actually included as part of the care packages for imprisoned soldiers. When the government made these connections, they hatched a master plan. Under the strictest secrecy, a group of Waddington's employees began mass-producing silk escape maps, which could be hidden inside a Monopoly playing piece. And the clever workmen of Waddington's didn't stop there. They also added a playing token containing a small magnetic compass, another piece that could be screwed together acting as a file, and actual foreign currency, hidden within the Monopoly money. What's more, because the Red Cross distributed these sets, Waddington's knew the destinations of each one. Therefore, they could ensure the maps would be specific to each region before they ever left the workshop. When the soldiers left for their first mission, they were advised on how to identify a rigged Monopoly set, the tell being a tiny red dot on the corner of the free parking square. Of the estimated 35,000 soldiers who successfully escaped, approximately one-third were aided by a rigged Monopoly set. Everyone who did so was sworn to secrecy forever. In fact, this story was only recently declassified, so the surviving craftsmen from Waddington's and the firm itself could be honoured not only is Monopoly a great game which has captivated generations, it was a lifeline to thousands of prisoners. We'd like to think the term, get out of jail free card, will mean a little more from now on.